Hello, Tupac Jimmy, it's me, Milo, and you're watching Trading Cards. I'm joined today with Pete Alonzo, Dan O'Jano, and Alejandro Kirk. Uh, a couple of Blue Jay Catcher autographs, huh? We got mystery packs today. We're starting with this pack courtesy of Zach's Collections. If you don't know what Zach's about, he's about uh, reading the cards, delving into history, being cool. Should go check them out. Link is down in the description below. Looks like we got a fat pack again. Look at that five card pack. It looks like here. What do we got? We got auto whack. Oh, we got color. We got color and a gnawing Nora in this. Like, um, everyone gets mad at me when I call it the wrong thing. Oh boy, I'm gonna be like gnawing Nora over here. Um, Shattered glass is what I call it. I think it looks like shattered glass. I think it should be called shattered glass. Lily popped. She already has one down her throat. She's already putting in another one. What's going on here, Lily? What is going on here? Tiny Tim. We had small Saul before. That's the other one. Tiny Tim is the A, though. And then we got a green. We got a green board. It just looks like a normal green bordered refractor. I'm going to check the back here for a number. We do have a number, Zach. It's the second time you sent me a number in GPK. I hope it's a funny one. That's that's all you could hope for with these. Airhead Jed. That's perfect for me because um, I'm, a bit of, I'm a bit of an airhead. I like that it has no neck though. It's actually not a bad one. Airhead Jed. I always would rather it be, if it's not a reference to like some movie or TV shorts some property. I would rather it be a uh, name of somebody I know or um, or my name. Ideally, 156 out of 299. Airhead Judd. That's going to be the winner, I guess, for the pack opening, but we, can, we do have some more. Uh, this one's courtesy of me. Blizzard Legacy Collection Trading Cards. You can open a bunch of cards of characters you've never heard, heard of or Overwatch characters. So let's hope, hopefully we get a pack full of Overwatch. Uh, full, okay, like you see what I'm talking about here? I, what is that even? I don't even, uh, uh, boy, why do I do this to myself? An, uh, anus Eric, Anus Eric. Here we go, baby. Overwatch, this is Farah. Uh, she teamed up with Mercy flies around the arena i never played as her kind of wanted a junk rat i mean junk rat that's my guy all right we'll put that to the side <gasps> we got two overwatch characters we got tracer the face of the game overwatch 2 put some stank on it for you they uh <laughs> they ruined the franchise nobody plays it anymore but i still really like it Still really like it. If you know if any of the voice actors signed through the mail, let me know. We got the uh, green swamp thing with a little girl eating a peach. Who's this? Nemzi Necrofizzle from Heroes of the Storm. Am I right? Can somebody tell me if I'm right? <gasps> Get out. It's an Overwatch character for the parallel. This is a, uh, a horde parallel. You get one in every pack, but Echo. We got Echo. Though, what a pack to open. Oh, and look, this is the Diablo from Diablo 2, the cover of Diablo 2, right? Uh, Mark uh, Wanderer. No, Dark Wanderer. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> His name's not Mark. Okay, back to this, though, right? Not numbered. No, we're not that lucky. But oh, hey, I could read it. Give that a try. Echo is an evolutionary robot programmed with a rapidly adapting artificial intelligence. Versatile. Hmm. Enough to fill multiple battlefield and combat roles. It's pretty verse. What else we got? Oh, this guy. I remember him from that Warcraft movie. I'm just kidding. I haven't seen that Warcraft movie. Her Jewel. Her Jewel. And that's the Diablo from Diablo. No, that's a Warcraft end of a raid boss or something, right? I gotta be, I gotta be close on that one. 
Your boy's gotta be close on that one. All right, this one is uh, thanks to Card Corner. Card Corner just dropped a new video. You gotta go check that out. Link is down in the description below. Uh, classic toys, trading cards are a nostalgic uh, look back at the most popular toys of the 50s, 60s, and you guessed it, 70s. What do we got here? Uh, matchbox cars. Well, that was before my time. Where we got Slinky. <laughs> I remember it. Uh, well, roll stone stairs, the loner in pairs right over your neighbor's dog. It's great for a snack. It fits on your back. Log, log. That That's log. Sorry, that's not that. Twiggy game. Oh, I remember Twiggy from the band Marilyn Manson. Um, uh, we'll have gun will travel game. Ho, 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 ho. That is not aged well. What do we got? We got stats about this thing. This board game is based on the popular CBS television series. Have a gun, will travel. The central character, Paladin. <laughs> okay. Had a unique trademark. Uh, a calling card featuring a white chess piece. And the words, have gun, will travel. In many ways, Paladin broke the mold for the TV of Western. Most notably, he was a good guy dressed in all black. What'll they think of next? Current value, 100, 100 bucks for that? I could get, I could get like two more of these packs of uh, garbage pail kids for that. Uh, what do we got? The Munsters card game. I didn't know that they uh, made a card game. That looks like the, why is there a board in pieces? Why you got meeples? We got Lost in Space game. These are cards of games based on properties. These these cards aren't even of the thing. The original thing. These are cards of something that is of something else. We are we are two we're two steps away from something here. Monkey Mobile. That's boy. I'd be sad if you'd never have real toys and you just had these cards. That'd be a sad state of affairs. Let me tell you, Monkey Mobile. Some of these toys kind of suck though, too. You know, not the monsters. Ooh, Stranger Things. We're going to open that last. We got Dick Todd to look at. Big thanks to Riot at the movies. And we're going to be opening up this pack of Pete's. Peter Burrow. Peter Burrow. Peter. I live around here. Peter Burrow Community Police. Hockey cards. Ah, oh, boy, oh, boy. Let's. Take a look at these cops making cards of themselves. We got the cop named Dick Todd. I know you're saying, why'd you open that? It was perfect the way it was, sealed with Dick Todd right on the front. A boy could only dream. Uh, play card. Police laws and youth. Did you know that the coaches and the players must work together to create a successful hockey team? Likewise, the police and the community must work together to create a safe community. Oh, yeah, I guess it's our job then, huh? You don't have to do nothing. What do we got? So this is, um, do, do collect uh, cards from officers while they are on patrol. So while these cops were on patrol, they were supposed to be handing out these Quaker Oats cards? Is that what we paid? Yeah, because the community is going to look out for him. Brent, Brent Tully. Pete's, Jordy Kinnear, John, J <laughs> no, he's not, no, he's not, no, wait, what, John Johnson says, be in the majority, Chris Pronger, this is, this guy actually played, Chris Pronger says that low self-esteem means lack of self-confidence. An inability to accept who you are and a lack of self-respect. You let others make your decisions for you. Some people are into that. This guy signed uh, autographs for me through the mail. I could send this to him, maybe. I'll keep this one aside. Mike Harding. Jason. Duh. Aw, duh. Aw. Chad Grills. What, this kid's like six years old. He was a, a police officer. Scott Turner. Oh, these are all actual players. They're not cops. 
All right, cool. Well, we got the Scott Turner and Chris Pronger of the Quaker Oats, Kitchener, Peterborough, Police. Car Thanks, Riot at the Movies. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Big finale, Stranger Things. We are hoping, we are, we are, we are, we call this a hopening. When you hope to, to open something good, it's a hopening. So this is a hopening for an autograph from Winona Ryder. Because frankly, I don't really care about any of these other people. I watch Stranger Things now out of an obligation, it feels like. Feels like I've dedicated so much time to it, and I really don't care. Oh, this, I think this pack has something. <gasps> this pack has something in it. It was a hoping after all. Okay, Chrissy, wake up. Oh yeah, I remember. There's only two cards. <gasps> so we got something. It's uh, uh, definitely 150,000% a manufactured patch relic. Okay, what do we got here? Oh yeah, this is a manufactured patch relic. No, it's not even. It's just Creel House. What the heck, Stranger Things? You can't even manufacture me a patch? Creel House. Ah. Oh, honestly, not great, you know? Kind of not great. I, I'm going to just crack another pack of this because, you know, YOLO. Worlds apart. That happened in uh, Stranger Things. She came back. Oh, they're talking about uh, 11. Millie Bobby Brown. Oh, this is what we're talking about. This is it. This The money, honey. Look what we got here. Hail Lord Vecna. That is a card. That is a card. Not numbered, obviously. The beginning of the end. As Vecna cracks Max's bones and leaves her on the edge of death, he and Eleven meet once again. While, while Elle and her crew have a plan to defeat him and close the gates to the upside down, Vecna makes it known that this battle is only the beginning of the end. But more importantly... This card rocks. Our yellow parallel is we call him Vecna. Here goes nothing. And our final card is just listen. Just listen. All right. Well, that was Stranger Things. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, take care, everybody. See you next time.